Hello, my executioner, Star Master Executioner here. Just gonna be having a bit of discussion about some speculation I have about uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 and uh, sort of analyzing overall uh, what we've been provided with in the trailers we've been given and uh, what it can mean for the story of Kingdom Hearts 3. Now, I'm just gonna sort of uh, answer any questions that uh, anyone may be sort of thinking right now about me bring up the whole new subject of Kingdom Hearts. I've been a fan of Kingdom Hearts for quite a few years now. My very first game was uh, Birth by Sleep and I've played pretty much just about every game since then. And uh, and I've played a good bit of Kingdom Hearts too. I've been a fan of Kingdom Hearts for years. I love the series. I know the story pretty much back to front. But anyway, the main discussion and the sort of speculative uh, theory I have at the moment is whether uh, Terror's lingering sentiment or armor could potentially be returning in uh, the Battle of Kingdom Hearts 3. Now, this is sort of going on the fact that this final battle could potentially be in the Keyblade graveyard where, you know, sort of the wielders leave their mark on fate, sort of quoted by Xehanort. Um, and of course, if uh, for the people that don't know what the lingering sentiment is or what Terror's armor is, it's basically a secret boss in Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix where you would fight this mysterious armor and no one really knew what it was at first until it was uh, later revealed in the release of the Birth by Sleep installment where uh, this character named Terra would go on to be possessed by Xehanort, but at the same time, he would use his ability to um, summon his Keyblade armor, and he would do this at exactly the same time, which somehow separated his mind from his now possessed body, and he would then have the battle with the Terra Xehanort um, possession, and then the armor would just be lonesome from that point, constantly in the Keyblade graveyard, and uh, just be resting there ever since. So this would sort of bring up the sort of uh, thought that the lingering will of Terra the armor would still be there and could possibly and potentially join with Terra again to save him or join Sora in the um, battle against the 13 darknesses to help. Who knows what could happen. But it's just something I'm going to throw out there. And something else as well, a small detail about the trailer, something someone could miss, uh, brush it off with just nothing, just the music in the trailer, but if you really take in consideration what the music is, it's actually the same theme song when fighting the lingering will of terror. So combined with considering, you know, the, um, the armor could potentially still be there, they could have the battle with the Keyblade Graveyard, which would make sense because that's where the final battle of Birth by Sleep was fought with Xehanort, it's where the Keyblade War happened, and Xehanort has been obsessed with the Keyblade War and it happening in the Keyblade Graveyard. It would only be fitting, but who knows? I could well be wrong, and we'll never see this armor again, or it can join with Terra. Anyway. It's all a matter of uh, of time and waiting and just sort of seeing what happens. But I'm just kind of throwing it out there. It's just something I've uh, thought about for a while now. And yeah, we'll kind of see what happens in the release of Kingdom Hearts 3. Or if anything, we'll get another Kingdom Hearts trailer in the winter. So yeah, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see what happens. This is your judge, jury, and executioner. Signing off.